Hey, Brian here with Fits of Horror with my video update for my journey to complete the entire Scream Factory library by the end of the year. So the past few weeks I haven't done a video because I've been trying to put together a little deal to get multiple titles. And it ended up working out quite nicely because I scored this entire stack in the last week, week and a half. So I got some pretty good titles. I'll admit that I haven't seen most of them, but I've definitely got my work cut out for me over the next few weeks. So, one that I'm really excited about, the Deathstalker 1 and 2. This is limited edition to a thousand. These go in for probably about 80 to 100 bucks on Amazon and eBay. Still new and sealed. Excellent, excellent addition to the collection. A big shout out to Nathan for making all this happen. These all came from one guy. He's actually still got a bunch of stuff available, and he's going to go ahead and post what he has left in his collection on the Fits of Horror page. So check that out after this. Got a little Blood and Lace. Still sealed. One of the newer titles, Anti-Birth. One of the year's scariest movies. We'll see about that. Then we got Narcopolis with a slipcase. Still haven't seen that one. Gravy with the slipcase. That one's supposed to be pretty good. The Devil's Dolls with a slipcase. Deep in the Darkness. Yeah, we'll see. Zombie Fight Club. You are lucky that you are a Scream Factory title, otherwise I would probably never have you in my collection. Submerged with a slipcase. A lot of these are newer titles, and as far as just needing to have them, I really just want them because they have the Scream Factory title or company attached to it, so I haven't seen them. They're just basically fillers for the collection, but I gotta have them. Carnage Park. This one actually looks pretty good, so I'm excited to see that one. And it has a slipcase. Animal. Looks kind of like a Predator knockoff, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Dipped into a classic. Got the Dark Man. Awesome old movie with a slipcase. Psycho 3 with a slipcase. That is actually a good one. Uh, Dead of Winter. New and sealed. Supernova. Gotta love anything with James Spader. Species 3 and 4. Still sealed. This looks like a shit fest, but it should be interesting. Shark and Saw Women's Prison Massacre. And it's got a hole in the barcode. But that's alright. Rabbit Dogs. Haven't seen this one either. Actually looks pretty good. Millennium and Rotor, which stands for Robotic Officer Tactical Operation Research. Cheese Fest Supreme. That'll be one of the first ones I watch. Metal Storm, Destruction of Jared Sin, 3D. I've actually heard a lot of good stuff about this one, so I'm excited to finally have this in the collection so I can check it out. I am not a serial killer. Gotta love anything with Christopher Lloyd in there. And it's got the little dude from Where the Wild Things Are. The House That Screamed. Old school. Eve of Destruction. You got Tap Dancing Gregory Hines against some female robot thing whatever 80s cheese ejecta i'm actually excited about this one i loved uh scream factory's extraterrestrial so anything they do with alien invasion or abduction is generally pretty good zombie high old school decent movie you'll like my mother a thriller haven't heard too much about it it's going to go high on the list. The Squad. Another one that looks pretty damn good. 
Dead Time Stories. This is one of the newest Scream Factory titles. Weird, weird, weird anthology. But the price of admission is worth it for just the end story. Absolutely insane. Nosferatu the Vampire. Crazy movie. This one, I got Dead Souls last week, but I found out about this one that Dead Souls comes with Chilling Visions on a double feature. I've got both the individual Blu-rays and now I have this double feature which is just kinda cool for the collection. Last but not least, The Beast of Hollow Mountain and The Neanderthal Man. I love these old school monster flicks. This is awesome. One day after a million years it came out of hiding to kill, kill, kill cheese ball but badass so i do have a few more that are on their way i've worked out a little deal with a few more people for some more titles so it won't be two weeks before i have another video up so if you're counting along with me my scream factory title is well the title collection is up to 188 individual titles so I'm going to be breaking 200 here soon, and then it'll all be complete, hopefully before the end of the year. All right, follow me on Fitz of Horror on Facebook. Good night.